everyone, this is Andrea, and I'm going to try and talk louder today because I think that uh, my voice isn't loud enough and I haven't bought a separate microphone yet, but I'm planning to. Uh, how are you? I don't know about where you are, but it's been very rainy here this week, which is a lot better than snow to me. Man, I fidget a lot. I'm sorry. My back hurts. Um, and I gotta stop saying, um, these are the goals. These are the, these are the things to work on. So, let's see. This week's been very busy again. I'm still getting used to my new schedule. I really don't have a lot of time, a lot of extra time during the day, which is new for me. I used to have I'm used to having a large gap of time, like maybe three hours during the day, where I can plan things and um, clean up and, you know, kind of generally putter around. And I don't have that right now. I kind of have to fit things in where I can. Uh, case in point, I'm behind on my laundry, so I'm wearing, I'm wearing uh, pajama bottoms today, which are... <laughs> Super Mario pajama, bob, pajama bobs. I don't know if you can see them. Look at that. It's a me, Mario. I do love me some Mario. So anyway, um, this past weekend, uh, my son and I and some of his friends, we went to this place called the Container Store. I don't know if you've heard of this. Uh, I've been wanting to go. It's been built up for us in mythic proportions by my son. He's like, it's, it's amazing. You won't believe it when you get there. And it was, it was pretty cool. They have things there that you're like, I didn't even know people needed a container for this. But anyway, I went there with a mission. I usually, if I'm going shopping, it's because there's something I want to buy. And I wanted to buy something to put our rice in. We buy very large bags of rice when we buy rice. And, like, we buy 15 to 20 pound bags of rice, usually Sunamasori. I, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's a it's a short grain rice that we mostly buy. We have some other, we, <laughs> I sound like some rice connoisseur or something, which I'm not. But we have some other small bags of rice that are different kinds, like some long grain rice, and we have some brown rice. My husband loves brown rice. We eat a lot of rice. We make a lot of Mexican food. We make some, I mean, I make fr chicken fried rice, which isn't that fried. And we have Indian food sometimes. So anyway, I needed something to put the rice in because we get these huge bags and they're in a cloth bag, but I wanted a container that I could try and put all of it in. So I, I found something. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that. Well, yeah, I guess you can see it. It's really big. I haven't put the rice in it yet. But it is called... This is like my first haul video. Not that it's really a haul. I only bought two things, but... It's called a Smart Locks. 13.21 quart. So helpful, hopefully it'll fit all the rice in there. And it just kind of... The lid is like... You pop the two opposite sides each way and then you take it off and it's got it's got measurements here I really don't know what the <laughs> I don't know what the measurements are it's probably it's probably some kind of metric system because the lowest number on there is a thousand and it's down there and then the highest number is eleven thousand up there so it's probably it's probably some kind of metric measurement, but I don't really need that. I just need it to hold rice. Oh, now I can't get the lid on right. There we go. <laughs> and while I was there, I found something that solves another problem for us. Do you have this problem? You, during the summer, you're barbecuing and you take out that nice bag of charcoal. You're like, here, dear, here's... Here's the charcoal, go to town, let's have some food. And next thing you know, two days later it's raining and you look outside and there's the bag of charcoal. Nobody brought it back in. Ha ha, well they have a, they have a solution for that. 
Oh, I gotta move. Hold on. Feast your eyes, people. Look at this. <laughs> ah, it's so big. I don't know. It's not. It's not that heavy. I mean, it's nice and it's nice and sturdy. In fact, it's so sturdy. I had trouble with putting the lid on and off. Somebody else had to do it for me. But you can put the whole bag, you can just stick the bag in there. You don't have to take it out of the bag. See, so you can open this and reach in and get your charcoal and then close it. And it doesn't get any water in it. It's got, it's got a seal that also, even if the rain comes down, it's going to go a different, it's going to roll off a different direction. It's got a little handle and Oh, see, there's a picture there of how you, how it works, I guess. But, um, let's see, what did I pay for that? That was, this was $14.99. And, and the little container, this was $16.99. So, but it'll be well worth it to keep that stuff contained because... It is something we needed. It's not something I just made up. I'm like, oh, I need a container. Da, da, da. I definitely needed that for the rice because I'm, I'm tired of the way it's going right now. It's Anyway, that's beside the point. So what else is going on? Um, do, 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 do. I, I'm behind on my videos. I'm trying to do this regularly, see how I like it. See if I come up with any interesting ideas or... But really I do like being able to talk to people. I watch some... There's some videos I watch that are vlogs that I really enjoy. And I think I find that I enjoy the ones where it seems like the person is talking directly to me. And they're very personable and they have just their everyday life, their everyday stories. And I like that. I kind of like that. I mean, I like other things too. I watch, I watch stuff about living simply and which I, I need. I don't know. I got a lot of stuff here, which I told you I'm working on that. Oh, what else? I'm really tired, but, um, I found, I found this amazing gamer. She's an 80 year old woman. And she plays Skyrim. Almost exclusively she plays Skyrim. And she's been playing for a long time, but just like a year ago she started putting the videos online. And I really enjoy watching her play. She's got an interesting style, and just the things she says while she's playing are really cool. Um, I can't remember her name. I just started following her, so I'll put her name down... In the video information here also but anyway check her out because she's really she's nice and she if you like that I mean even if you don't like video games it's fun to hear her commenting because she <laughs> just the stuff she says while she's walking around I don't know I get a kick out of it um, what else I am still so the things I'm working on right now Still working on the KonMari. I've kind of put a hold in that, a hold on that because I've been trying to, like when we recently got the furniture, I think I mentioned that before, the couches, we had to take some furniture out of the living room. So I have this huge desk in the hallway. It's like a tall desk and I'm still in the process of taking things out of that. I'm almost done. So I've been working on that instead of the KonMari in general because we need to get rid of that piece of furniture and also I want to start doing makeup um, just because I don't mean on the videos <laughs> I don't think I'd be good at that because I'm not I mean I want to start wearing makeup because as you get older your skin starts to look maybe you don't like the way your skin looks maybe I don't like the way my skin looks so I want to <laughs> I want to put some makeup on and I've been having trouble finding stuff so I got my son's girlfriend is going to go with me to Ulta, I think, this weekend. So I have a couple things I wanted to look at. I'm not looking forward to some of the stuff. Some people, some people spend tons of money on makeup. I can't imagine it because what if it 
what if you don't like it or what if the thing you get doesn't work like can you take it back I mean maybe you can I don't know it just seems like a lot of money but at the same time do you want to do you want to buy cheap stuff to put on your skin probably not so let's see as I look outside it's very windy and for the rest of the day I guess I still have to take my son to work my youngest son he'll be getting up soon he works um I don't even know if it's second or third shift. I guess it's technically second because he he works from like three something to eleven something. Anyway, hopefully he'll get his license soon. So we, uh, maybe I shouldn't have put that on there. He always feels like I'm harping on him about it, but still, I don't know. And when I was growing up, everybody wanted to have their driver's license, but nowadays it seems like. People wait forever to get it. I guess there's other there's other things to do. Back then it was cool to be able to just drive around, you know. People used to go cruising, especially in high school, just drive up and down the main stretch of road playing your stereo really loud. I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. Sounds like I grew up in the 50s, but I did not. <laughs> I grew up in the 80s for the most part. Um... Anyway, I don't I don't know what I'm having for dinner tonight. Uh, we have some turkey sausage, so I might make something with that. I haven't decided. I think Bob said he was interested in jambalaya, so maybe he'll help me put that together. And um, oh, I just bought I just bought uh, Star Wars Rogue One, so I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I'm really excited about that. I like to. I like to have the Star Wars movies. I'm a big fan. Big fan of Star Wars. I don't know if you see my Darth Vader. Da, da, da. Anyway, he's the best. Um, just because. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Like, oh, I just love bad guys. But I meant I always like the struggle, the inner struggle that he goes through. Anyway, that's a long story. That's not even probably interesting for you. But the internal struggle between doing what you want to do and doing what you need to do and just the ways, the different ways that we get pulled in our life, you know, that, that struggle, it's very over-exaggerated in this character. So that's why I, that's why I like Darth Vader. So, uh, besides that, I guess... I'll be talking to you soon, and I hope you have a great day, and I, and I hope we can talk again. Bye.